everyone welcome to this video the module 1 we have seen power supply amplifiers operational amplifiers and oscillators in detail here in this video let us see questions from 10 important topics which we can expect in examination the first question may be on block diagram of power supply we have seen this is the first topic in module 1 where transformer rectifier reservoir and smoothing filter voltage regulators are studied after this so this block diagram of power supply is one of the important question we can ex expect in examination and the second one is rectifiers these rectifiers are very very important it is asked many times in the previous examinations in basic electronics where you will be having three rectifiers half wave rectifier full wave rectifier in full wave we will be having biphase and bridge rectifier the question may be like this to explain the half wave rectifier circuit and its working or the half wave rectifier circuit with the capacitor filter the, we need to observe the question carefully if they have asked you to write with capacitor we are supposed to write with capacitor and this capacitor output has to be shown similarly in the full wave rectifier and also in the bridge rectifier this is one of the very important question we can expect and next one is question 3 is voltage regulator we know zener diode is used here as a voltage regulator so this zener diode connected in reverse biased fashion is the important topic here this is also an important question which is asked in the previous examinations and related explanation is can be written where the voltage across the diode is same as the output across rl is the thing we need to mention here and voltage doubler and tripler this is the new concept introduced in uh, basic electronic syllabus that's why this is a very interesting topic this question may be appear in exam this time and the next one is negative feedback amplifier characteristics and derivation of gain the two feedback uh, methods one is negative feedback another one is positive feedback this negative feedback method is used in amplifier circuits and positive feedback used in oscillator circuits and these are all the advantages of negative feedback these things will be very important and it is asked in previous exams also and here we have two questions one is a negative feedback amplifier characteristics and then derivation of overall gain of the amplifier when we connect it in negative feedback so this derivation is also very important to get the final expression for gain we have these many steps and overall gain will be reduced once we connect the negative feedback is important thing and then we will be having uh, some small small concepts like frequency response bandwidth and phase shift of the amplifier signals so this question may be asked for four to five marks to explain each and uh, every concepts like this to explain what is bandwidth and how it will be represented and what is the frequency response of any amplifier for a particular uh, radio frequency amplifier this will be the uh, uh, frequency response this is how the question may come like to explain briefly the frequency response bandwidth and phase shift concepts and then op amp in operational amplifier ideal op amp characteristics are very important ideal op amp characteristics are asked many times in the previous exams and practical values also we need to remember for these if they ask to write the practical uh, op amp characteristics we need to write these values otherwise ideal op amp characteristics are uh, repeatedly asked in exam we need to write one or two lines of explanation for what is dc open loop gain why it is infinite what is input impedance why it is infinite so on so this question may come in exam and it is very important then we have op amp applications there are uh, seven or eight applications they have given in your syllabus here important thing is inverting amplifier and non-inverting amplifier uh, it is asked again and again and also the summer differentiator in, and integrator also asked but the thing is here in this time you are not supposed to derive the expression for these you just explain how actually the circuit is whether the input is connected in inverting terminal or it is connected in non-inverting terminal and how the expression will be if there is any waveform we can also write the waveform for these circuits this is again a very important question and then positive feedback as i said in the previous question that is negative feedback and the derivation of gain here we have positive feedback and derivation of gain in oscillator chapter this is also uh, the same concept where the positive feedback is taken and overall gain will be a divided by 1 minus beta into av here where 
the overall gain increases if you connect a positive feedback. In negative feedback what happens? If you connect a negative feedback the overall gain reduces. Here overall gain increases. That we need to show with the derivation like this. And then condition for oscillation. This is a Barkusen criteria or the Barkusen uh, has made two criteria for sustained oscillation. And this will be asked many times in exam where the phase shift around the loop if you connect a uh, feedback positive feedback with an amplifier circuit if you take the total phase shift it should be 0 degree or 360 degree the overall gain of the circuit should be equal to 1 means amplifier gain is AV and the feedback factor is beta or B here it is represented the total gain should be equal to 1. This is the Barkerson criteria and what happens if this criteria is does not meet that is also the question you may get if A into beta increases or A into beta decreases than 1 what happens that I have explained in the video you can see. And then oscillators the different types of oscillators are given in the uh, syllabus one very important thing here is the uh, RC ladder network or generally we will be calling this as a RC uh, phase shift oscillator this circuit uh, explanation and a frequency which we have designed means the um, frequency of oscillations this oscillator can produce that will be called as a resonant frequency. These frequency expressions are very important and we need to write while explaining the oscillators. So RC phase shift oscillator V is one of the very important out of these and you may get question on Weinbridge oscillator or A stable oscillator is also very important and you may get crystal oscillator also. Out of these four, one or two questions will be there in exam for sure. These are the 10 very important questions from module 1. If I left out some of the concepts, it will be um, covered in these important questions. I have listed some 20 questions here, uh, 19 theory questions and 20th will be some numerical problems on these concepts. So these 19 are very important. You may get a uh, question in a different way but other than these topics they will not ask any other things okay thank you